My name is Seven Deep. You could call me Seven. I'm a writer, a producer, an actor, a creative director, a stylist, a, a performer. I'm a man eater. I'm a hoot. So I am from, originally from Richmond, Virginia. I'm adopted, I'm the oldest of 11. My father's from New York, my mom's from Virginia. I grew up in the arts. My father knew I was gonna be magical. Magical. He put me in all types of art programs, so I was anything from dance to musical theater, but we still, you know, grew up. You know what we grew up, so now I'm here. Hey, I'm the shit with a big ass dick, and you gonna have to open up if you want me to fit two in the back. Pretty and they stack. The ratchet is a bitch finna take it to the max. So in this journey of creativity, I've lived in Atlanta, I've lived in LA, I've lived in DC, New York, now I'm in Dallas. One day I had a show in Dallas. I was like, damn, I like the vibes. I was two drinks in, like, I'ma move here. Next thing I know, two weeks later, I was in Dallas. It's 2 a.m. and I'm ready to go. I gave him the look like you wanna take me out of my clothes. Uh, said he been crushing since he came to my show. He like the way my body moving, he in love with my flow. But why? I am a very, very raunchy, raw, sexually explicit artist. Growing up, I did not have a me. I didn't have someone to look at and say, hey, he looks like me. And I had like Juicy J or Kanye West or Lil Wayne or Lil Kim, but I didn't have a me talking about the things that I, you know, like or whatever the case may be. <laughs> a man eater. Man eater is a person that don't let nobody play with them. I came up with man eater when I was going through a, a breakup. And um, I remember like the boys just thinking that he could play with me. You know what I mean? And I, at that time I was in college, I was just going through a whole lot of different things. And I just, a man eater is somebody that, let's think about it, right? When you think about a man eater, not just like a, a person that's, you know, promiscuous or whatever. Think about a vampire. Things are, that are, people are scared of. You think about beasts, you know what I'm saying? They, they're, they're really like at the top of the food chain. That's what I am, I'm at the top of the food chain. Honestly, I've never had an embarrassing moment performing. Actually, when I'm on stage, that's my safe space. So if I was to fall or whatever the case may be, like the audience, those are my family members at that point. So I've never really had an embarrassing, uh, embarrassing moment. Sometimes I forget my words sometimes, like, you know what I'm saying? But the greats do that. Nikki said, Nikki do that. Uh, Beyonce do that, a couple of greats forget their words, so I, I forget my words sometimes, but that's not really embarrassing, it's just kind of like, oops. I will say this, don't let nobody play with your creativity or your shit, cause this is your shit. Stupid. <laughs> While watching the, the, the show, who should the viewers be side eyeing? Ooh, let me see. The whole fucking cast. The whole fucking cast is a group of fucking weirdos. Um, no, they should be side eyeing Marquise, the chef. I think the chef, had a hard time finding his niche when he joined this group, but I think that he didn't know where to fit in, so he tried to fit in a lot of different groups, and I feel like that made him look a little uh, shaky. Marquise, the cook. Him and Ashley need to talk about how they fucking. Who's my favorite person besides Kesey? Um, and I have two. I love Robert. Robert stays out the way. Robert stays out the way. He's an Aries like me. My second favorite person is Jet Jeff. I love a bitch that stands down on her toes because I stand down on my toes. So regardless of what, without saying too much, I respect Jet Jeff. And I, I will always respect the bitch that stands ten toes down on whatever the fuck, you know, whatever she, she, her ideas, her principles. So what you can expect is to see some behind the scenes work. Uh, you know, the things that I do. You can expect to see me um, check a few bitches. This is not last season. We're not gonna, we're not gonna use that for y'all storyline. So you can just get to see the man eater baby in his, in his true form. All right, y'all, y'all got to know me. Catch me on Chasing Dallas this spring. On Chasing Reality, you in for a treat, baby.